it wouldn't be an Olivia Shannon vlog if it didn't start with coffee. But hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a quick second since I filmed, but I'll talk about that in a second. So this video is gonna be a golf banquet vlog because I really want the memories of it. And I'm a senior, so I don't know. I just think it'd be fun just to vlog it and share that with you guys. The lighting is really bad, like on my stairs. But all right. I am going to show you guys how I'm doing my makeup. I don't even fully know yet, but um, I'm just going to set it up right here. I didn't go to school today because I'm sick. I didn't even mean to like not go to school. I woke up at like 9 and school starts at 7.30. So I was super confused on how I like slept that long. And then I like stood up to like start getting ready. And I was like, yeah, no, my head hurts and my throat hurts. My nose just feels kind of stuffy. Um, I took some Dayquil and I probably should take more. Okay, so I'm first going to just put on this Dr. Brandt No More Baggage stuff under my eyes. Um, it just like helps with dark circles and it's like orange. So it like cancels out your like darkness and stuff. And I'm just going to go on with some primer. This is a Maybelline redness control primer that you guys have seen me use before okay the foundation that i use is the maybelline fit me dewy and smooth one um these foundations are so good and so inexpensive i freaking love it so the reason that i haven't filmed in like a while is because i've seriously just been so busy with school, like, everyone tells me senior year is easy, but it has not been easy for me, and I have so much homework, like, every single night. Also, college apps have been really stressful, and, like, I have the ACT this Saturday. Again, I, like, have the worst score, and I feel like I'm, like, not even gonna do any better, because, like, with golf, I did not have time to get tutoring for this one, so I'm just really praying that I do better. And, like, every single weekend that I try to film, like, always something comes up and, like, I have plans and stuff um, or, like, so much homework and it's just so hard. And also, like, it's kind of just been, like, hard emotionally for me lately and I don't really want to film when I'm, like, in a bad mood, so. So now my concealer is on. I'm just gonna set it with some powder. So I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows out. And like shape them and stuff because they look a hot mess i just have this little brow stuff from boxycharm like there's no like dramatic like difference with it on but it just makes them look a little bit better i love using the tarlette and bloom palette um because they have like such good like matte brown colors so i'm gonna use smarty pants like i always do like i for real like use this all the time Okay, so I'm going to use gold from the Laura Pro palette. So literally just a gold color. I just used some more dark brown matte colors from here that are like darker than the transition color. So I can like put that on the outside. Okay, now I'm going to go back with the gold. And like use it under my eye a little bit. Then I'm gonna take white from here and I'm gonna put it like right in my tear duct. Okay, now I'll just do a little like speed thing of me doing my mascara and eyeliner since it's like the same every time. I just put black eyeliner on my waterline and then just use this mascara. Okay, so I just did my mascara and eyeliner, so I'm gonna do bronzer now. I'm using this blush, it's Laura Seller um, Tropic Hues. I got it in a BoxyCharm box, of course. So it's like super glowy and pretty. Okay, then to add more of a glow, I'm gonna be using the Becca highlighter. 
an opal. So I'm just going to use like a nude lip liner right now. And then I'm going to use this nude lipstick. I'm not really going to go into detail with what it is because I'm like trying to hurry. Then I'm going to do the NYX Butter Gloss. I'm just gonna finish it with setting spray, obviously. I always get my hair wet when I do this, so I like try to like cover it. So I'm gonna go put on my dress and my shoes, and I'll show you guys what everything looks like all together. Um, this is my outfit. I'm wearing this dress that's from Forever 21. Then I'm wearing my I'm Geo jacket, which I'll probably like take off when I get there. Then my shoes are just these nude Steve Madden ones. starting but like it's fine they can't start without us anyway so we're all good <laughs> yeah i gotta get the sign okay. we a picture of like, oh this lighting is good oh this is good lighting oh shit okay ooh, ooh. <laughs> we are live at the golf banquet here's rachel <laughs> the freshies here for your varsity and I don't forget um, when I went to the range, the first day of practice, saw this young lady standing there with her mom. She was hitting balls. Tall oh, young lady, she was hitting balls. I said, boy, look at that swing. And um, so they introduced themselves, and I introduced myself. And um, she has been wonderful. You know, when she came, we, would, we still didn't have quite enough young ladies yet who could really play. So she was kind of forced along early, um, played a bunch of matches and tournaments, um, and just did a fantastic job. You know, the coaches always comment when they see her. They're like, man, look at her. She owns the court. You can tell, look how she's moving. She's just a great athlete. Wow, you know, she really knows. You look at her, look how she moves. They said that over and over, even some parents said that. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, she, she understands the game. And, um, and so she just got better. And, and just a fun person to have who loves Grove, who loves their teammates, um, who just has a nice spirit about themselves because all the other girls would always say they really enjoy playing with her. And so, I mean, that is just wonderful. And it seems like these four years have gone by so fast. It is like yesterday, <laughs> her mom was on the range. And um, she's going to truly be missed. She's absolutely wonderful. Uh, she's meant a lot to this program. And uh, we're going to miss her. And that's Olivia Shannon.
last year and on JV. And of course, to Coach White for always being there for us, always supporting us, always encouraging us. Even if we don't have a great day, you know, he's always there giving us those fruit snacks, making us feel better. <laughs> He even one tournament, I think it was me, even Olivia, we're all sick, and he drove, and he went and got us cough drops, and that was so nice. <laughs> so, I'm Brooke, if you didn't get that yet, and I'm Olivia, and we've both been on varsity with Coach White for four years. Um, so, starting on our freshman year, as Coach kind of already mentioned, the program wasn't very organized, the girls kind of weren't as serious about the sport. Like golf was more of a thing, just kind of go to practice to fool around. Um, we only had one player on our team that would shoot below a 95, which was Mary. Um, and it was just like, it was still a really fun place, but no one really focused on the game very much. And we didn't have boosters or spirit wear. Like we didn't even have a team shirt that year. Um, yeah. Then sophomore year, we had players like Chloe and Layla come in who actually cared about golf a lot and were really serious about it. And they shot really well, so we saw Coach White trying to make us a little more competitive because we had a chance now. So that was kind of hard to adjust to at first. You know? <laughs> we were like, oh, we actually have to like focus, you know? So um, yeah, and then at the end of the season, we moved up a division, which was really exciting for us. And then junior year came around, and there was a big change in the program. Mrs. Collins started helping out more, so we got boosters, um, the spirit wear got better, and I think um, a big thing was the team got a lot less clicky, like everyone started getting along a lot better, because I think there were a lot more like smaller groups within varsity when we were younger. Um, so that was good, and yeah, everything was just more organized. And then this year, we knew that it was our last year, and we really wanted to be leaders and everything, because like she said, like. It was really clicky when we first started and not a lot of the upperclassmen would talk to us a lot. Like there were a few, but like it was kind of weird. So we tried to like make an effort to talk to the new varsity members coming in or the freshmen, which I think we saw like change the dynamic of our team a lot. And we just also focused on just like enjoying playing instead of worrying about our score because we used to really like let that get to us. Um, so we just were more positive this year. Um, uh, one of my I wouldn't say favorite many memories, but one of the funny memories um, for my four years was actually freshman year. We were playing in a tournament at Glen Oaks, I think, and <laughs> <laughs> um, so we were in a tournament at Glen Oaks, and there were a lot of girls playing, so the course was super backed up, so when that happens, you have to wait forever to tee off, so my group was just sitting on a tee box, and I decided to watch the hole behind us, because you could see like the full hole behind us. So I was watching and Coach White used to hide behind trees because uh, we hated when he would watch us play. So he's hiding behind this tree and a girl from another school hits her drive and I just see it going straight towards the tree. <laughs> and so Coach on his cart swerves out of the way and the ball just curves perfectly. And then I just hear from like kind of far away, I just hear, I've been hit! <laughs> street in the neighborhood and we're like where is the course we're like looking around and then I look up and see a street sign that says here on Meadows Street and so then we called coach White and he's like I have no idea where you are <laughs> and we were like an hour like south and we were supposed to drive an hour west so then we ended up not making a tea time first parents never found out my parents knew though <laughs> <laughs> We still got to practice. We played like 13 holes together. We made it fun, you know, but never forget that. 
Um, so as far as the girls on the team, um, the golf team has given us the opportunity to meet lots of different friends from all the grades um, that we probably wouldn't have talked to if it wasn't for being on this team. Um, some of them have already graduated and some of them are just freshmen, so it gives you like a wide variety of friends, um, which is something that I always love. And then along with the girls on the team, Coach Way is a huge part of what makes it enjoyable. And even my first practice freshman year, we already had such a great bond and stuff because he's so easy to like talk to and everything. And he's always there for us. He's more than just a coach. He's definitely like one of our friends. We want to like stop in his room during school. We always do that to say hi. And like Chloe said, he like buys us stuff like cough drops we need. This year I was like upset in the hall and he like made sure I was okay. Like he's always just there for everybody. So he just means so much to us. Um, so the past four years haven't helped me only improve my golf game, but it helps me improve things such as my work ethic and my social skills and helps me like not to get frustrated. Um, and so even though I won't be playing competitive golf anymore, very much at least, like those skills and traits will definitely um, stay with me in the future. So I'm very thankful for that. And I've learned a lot about patience through golf and how to not let failure define me because and I was like, especially sophomore and like last year being a junior, like when it was more competitive, I was like always like getting down on myself about like not playing well, but um, I just learned how to have a better attitude and stuff. And my attitude has probably changed even more than just like how my score has, which means more to me. My biggest tip for like the people on JV and stuff is to just like be open to new friendships because I've made friends with people I never thought I'd be friends with and just always be positive, even if you're like sweating your butt off or Freezing in the pouring rain during a six hour tournament. Just try to enjoy it as much as you can. Um, so thank you to all the parents, coaches, and players for making our last, or the past four years so amazing. Yeah. To celebrate you. Um, as you heard, um, you there are a lot of skills, a lifelong skills hey. in building character <laughs> this is that go along with go. go. Okay, hopefully this is recording. Um, yeah, it is. This yeah. is recording. <laughs> um, so we're a little confused about how to work this camera, but, but we're leaving Olivia surprised because um, when she gets back, she's going to be surprised and she's going to hopefully just focus. It. Yeah, she's going to see it. She's going to be like, oh, I love this so much. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she really does like, love us. She's going to be like, oh my god, I'm going to look at this guy for my entire life when I miss my favorite. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is the vlog life. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Okay, bye.